All right, welcome to another Summit Cast. Today's message has to do with forgiveness, a very, very important topic. Okay, you, in order to be blessed, need to live a life of forgiveness. When Stephen was stoned in Acts chapter 7, he knelt down and prayed and he said, Father, forgive them. And he prayed loudly, loud enough for everybody to hear. This, this was his last words before he went into glory. He said, don't blame them. Father, don't blame them for this sin. He asked God not to hold their sin against them. It's very important to forgive. Realize this. Unforgiveness will stop the flow of blessing and favor in your life. So practice forgiveness as a lifestyle. Forgive freely in your life everybody that's wronged you. Make it a part of your everyday lifestyle. When Jesus was teaching the prayer of faith in Mark chapter 11, when he says, whatever you ask or desire, when you pray, believe you receive them and you will have them. The next verse sometimes is overlooked where Jesus said, and whenever you stand praying, if you have anything against anyone, the Amplified says, forgive him and let it drop. Leave it, let it go. That your father who is in heaven may also forgive you your own failings and shortcomings and let them drop referring to your and our own failures and shortcomings which we all have see so is there anybody that you need to forgive today look at it real hard look at it very close because unforgiveness is a thief of the blessings of God it will stop the flow of increase blessing favor on your life it'll plug up clog up the flow of blessings you don't want that in your life see holding grudges is not the will of God it has a negative effect on you it can even cause sickness and disease in your body unforgiveness can eat away at you on the inside so it's, it's not worth it to hold unforgiveness against anyone in your life see God's ways are higher than our ways and when you take the road of forgiveness you're taking the high road you're taking God's highway you're, you're choosing God's way above the, the ways of the natural man okay and by choosing God's way, you're going to be blessed as a result. Let me pray with you right now. If you have unforgiveness against anybody, I want to pray for you. Father God, let's release those people, okay? Or that person. Father God, right now in Jesus' name, I pray on behalf and in agreement with anyone who is listening that has been holding unforgiveness against someone. Father God, I pray with them right now. And even if they don't have strength enough to do it themselves, I want to set myself in agreement with them and pray on their behalf. And they can agree with me and we can release them right now. So Father, right now we release anybody that has wronged them in their life. Anybody who has wronged them. Anybody that they're holding unforgiveness against. We release them. We forgive them. We let it drop. Whatever we're holding against them, we let it drop and let it go. In the name of Jesus, amen. If you receive that, guess what? You should sense something just lift off of you. You're free. And whom the Son makes free is free indeed. Make it a great day.